Ding, 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 top of morning. This is Skara, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a positive experience playing this game. Would you like to review detailed content warnings which contain spoilers alternatively in-game? Content warnings can be enabled in the settings menu at any time. Nope. By playing Doki Doki Literary Culture Club, you agree that you have noted the game's age rating in your region and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Obviously. Nice music. That's nice music. Settings. All right, let's select a new game. Okay. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would always sleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Siori catch up to me. Ah! <laughs> I overslept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait on... Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait up for you. Ah, uh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Skara. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did weird for me, after all. I guess... You don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Siori. Yeah. <laughs> we cross the streets together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students, making their daily commute. By the way, Skara, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I already told you I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. See, I realize to worry a little too much about me. When I'm... Perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Aha! Uh -huh. I was worth talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of 
you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me sleep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Well, you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Huh. The scoop is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I step blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch catch you coming out of the classroom, but I just saw but I saw you just sitting there here sp and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. It's going to It's going if it's going to make you late to your own club. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought I'd... You need... I need some encouragement, so I thought you... you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah! There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, <laughs> meanie. Siori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and, uh, and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Siori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have all of this planned out. I let her along sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit. Siori, full of energy, swings off from the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Siori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Skara, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Hmm. What was a scare me in this situation? This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So sorry. That's okay. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nasuke, is one I don't even recognize. 
Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. She is also the one who made cupcakes according to Siori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Siori says that quietly in my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Naski, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D -d don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears to be compar comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Siori and Naski. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Skara. Monica smiles sweetly. We really do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we are in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Uh, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Skara. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Just sorry I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks around to form a table. As you already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Nasuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the classroom where Nasuki grabs a tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling in a little awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Nasuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow! Nasuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate use were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were good, so good at picking, Nasuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Siori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Siori walks with her, talks with her mouth full, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Nasuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Nasuki is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Nasuki. But why are you thanking me like that? It's not like I... Haven't I heard that this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh, <laughs> I thought you technically did, Siori said. Well, well, maybe. But, you know. But not for you, you, not you, dummy. Alright, alright. I gave up Nasuki's... Gave up, gave up on Nasuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully fix, places a teacup in front of each of us before to see, setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep the whole, you keep the whole room, whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. Heh, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Heh, <laughs> that's, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. 
Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief, and Monica raises an eyebrow that smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I should shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically tracked here via Siori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As Vice President, as President of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Heh, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, attention like literature. You don't have, you you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this cl club before we graduate. Right, everyone. Yeah, we'll do our, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have re worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we're all, they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. I still... Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Skara, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how, how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I'm utterly quiet, but quietly to myself, half joking. Nasky's head suddenly perks up. She looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri's face traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favourites are usually novels that build up build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something. 
I can relate to at the minimal level. Uh, this radio is might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Nasky's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually write, like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasky? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> Enjoy your cupcakes and buy your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Siori slides up her nasty and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Nasky, you write your own poems. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Nasuki uh, averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Nasuki feels. Sharing that level of rising requires more than just confidence. The truest form of rising is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers. Exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have rising experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Nasuke feel more comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess the same. I guess it's the same for you. For Yuri. Aw, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. I'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Maski and Yuri look quizzically at Bonica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, the next time we meet, we shall all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Scouter? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back to the regional shopping topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth to what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Siori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have overlooked clubs to look at and, um, I will lose my train of thought. Hmm. All four girls stare at me with dejected eyes. Well, Yuri doesn't look that dejected. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Scara. You, you all... I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make it clear? Make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the Literature Show Club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Siori wraps her around him, around me jumping up and down. Uh, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. 
you really just if you really just came for the cupcakes I would be super pissed then that makes it official welcome to the literature club ah uh, thanks I guess okay everyone I think with that we can finally end today's meeting on a good note everyone remember it's a nice assignment Write a poem to bring to the next meeting, so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Skara, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my media, mediocre writing skills? I uh, already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile. The girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Asuki clean up their food. Hey, Skara, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, so Yuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed up after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. They... Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need... I just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Cool. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Save. Rainbow. Rainbow. Anxiety. Sunny. Kawaii. Hmm. Hope. And anime. Comfort. Kiss. Hmm. Vivid. Chumpe. Music. Rose. Kitty. Fun. Heartbeat. Puppy. Friends. Boop. Cute. And... Imagination. Hmm. Hi again, Skara. Hmm. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me. But at least I keep my word. Welcome, while I'm back at the literature lab. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Skara. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Siori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. Or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps our manga collection in the, in the club room. M -m 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 
Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying the word Monica and Langa. Langa reads literature. Swiftly deflated, Natsuki pulls back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Skyro always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Siori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Skara have can become good friends too. Um, uh, Siori? Uh, hmm? As usual, Siori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri. He even brought you something today, you know? W -w -w wait, Siori. Yeah, me? N uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N n never mind. Siori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Well, it'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah, I would make a big deal. Make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out. So I picked up out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it. If you want it, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked up how the book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Th thank you, I'll definitely read this. Anyway, I suppose I shall end this video here. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.